Hey you guys, this is your girl Simply Love and I'm here to do your monthly reading for September. It's going to be for the sign of cancer. Welcome you guys. Um, before I begin, I want to tell you if you, you know, like hair, you know, like the hair like I do, you know, you see myself my myself and, you know, always having different styles and things like that. Um, I know someone that you can go to and purchase some good hair, really good good hair and um um I do have it listed on my community site. You can check it out over there and you can go to her Facebook page or her Instagram page. It's called West Philly Star Quality Hair and Accessories and it's uh, owned and operated by Shannon Smith. That's who you'll be contacting. If you go over there and visit her site, you'll see all the hair that's available for you to purchase. It is a good quality hair. It's not that crazy stuff that they got out here now. This is really good quality hair and okay, and it's at a reasonable price. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, so for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the sign of Cancer, I'm going to um, read intuitively for you first, and then we're going to get into the reading part, okay? This just means without any cards. Uh, remember, the energies can go vice versa. It doesn't mean like it could be you. It could be somebody else that's around you, okay? The energies is not going to, to reflect on everybody. These readings aren't for everybody. They're just for some people, you know, far as what's been told. If it's, you haven't gotten anything, you're welcome to, you know, look at your other, um, what you have in your natal chart. Look at those and see if you get any messages. If not, just go ahead and get yourself a personal private reading if you feel like you need to have some type of advice or some type of um, direction. That's what tarot is for, you know, give you advice and direction. So with that being said, just give me a few minutes to focus. I'm hearing the word uh, release. I don't know if it's about you, Cancer, or someone around you, but it's something about releasing something, letting something go, or freeing yourself. Um, I I'm hearing marriage. I'm hearing wedding bells. Like I feel like some of you are going to propose to somebody or somebody's going to propose to you. You're going to have some type of marriage or engagement or something for some of you out there. I feel like you're going to get married this year or at least engage for some of you. And I'm hearing that some some of you, uh, I'm hearing the word like you got to slow down or take it easy or take your time with a certain situation. So let me go ahead and get into the cards. These are my tarot cards here. Um, they're all about love called Love Letter Tarot. Tara, you're welcome to purchase these. They're on my website. The website is listed below in the description if you want to purchase these. And I have other cards that I've made there too. You're welcome to go there and look at them. And if you like them, you can go ahead and purchase them. So we got two cards here. Okay, fell down already. Okay, got the three of action. The three of action is the three of wands in a regular tarot deck. Okay, so we're talking about um, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And I feel like you've, um, you or the, someone else here has already made a decision to see, they already see something that they want. Okay, they see they see the future. They see something ahead of their self that, that, they see potential. Somebody may be leaving a third party situation behind and they're going to go for what they know because they can see it already. You see how they're looking at that telescope like it's right there. They see their ships coming in. That's you or someone else. And then we got the five of truth. The five of truth is a, a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, so it's actually the five of swords. Okay. And um, I feel like you're leaving, like I said, leaving behind a third party situation due to deception. All right. Because the five of swords is somebody being deceptive. Look how that person looking. You know, somebody who is like a bit selfish. They want it all. They can be a bit reckless. They they don't play fair. They don't play fair at all. Okay. Because they got to have all the swords. Okay. They got to be the winner in everything. So that may be why you turning your back on this person. All right, you turning your back on this person, you see something 
you see something better. Did I do that right? Yeah, you see your future. You see a better future for yourself. Because you definitely got your back turned on. Uh, this person, like I said, could be deceptive in, in, in a third party situation that you're walking away from. Where did you go, little Cardi? <laughs> okay. What fell out for you here is the king or queen of, remember I said these, this is an actual court card, okay? Uh, the king or queen of love, so there's a love offer here. Somebody's extending their love, and you see it already, okay? You see it. You see that? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all I had to release yourself from, I think it's from this person, like you just released yourself. See how spirit is um, backing up what they're telling me without any cards? They're just backing it up. And I'm so grateful, okay? I really am. So, yeah, some of you are moving in from away from somebody and you're enter, going to enter into a new relationship. Now, bonus card. In this deck of cards of 78, there's like about, about 82 maybe, something like that. Because I got some bonus. There's six bonus cards. So, you got a bonus card that fell out. And the bonus card says, thou shalt cut off those who, who isn't loyal. See? Goes along with this cutting some shit out of your life so you can because you see something better coming and it what you see better coming is love okay for for you guys so that's just the bonus card there okay spirit what do you have for cancer what do you have for cancer sun moon rising and venus over cancer Yeah, I definitely see you guys turning your back on a, um, a situation that doesn't serve you any longer. Or you're tired of it. You're tired of the deception. You're tired of lies. that can be somebody lying, cheating, trying to get away with stuff. All right, now you got the six of action. So, you know, you are blocking this. Per you're going to block somebody off, okay? You're going to pr be protecting yourself. It's a card of protection, blocking, you know, having, um, you're blocking somebody out, okay? Because you want this new love offer here, so you're blocking somebody out with the six of action, which the six of action is a six of, um, wands, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo that you're blocking yourself from, protecting yourself from. And here's a, the Libra card, which is uh, justice. So what was wrong will be righted for you, okay? Uh, you see the scales are balanced with the love, okay? Because these are love letter cards. So it's all about love, okay? Make sure I put hearts in just about all of them. <laughs> so there's going to be a, an equal, a sense of being... Um, of uh, fairness coming out of this situation. Love is blind sometimes, but honey, once you take them glasses off and see it for what it is, you got love. You got some you got some love, all right? And it's going to be balanced. Everything is going to be fair. It's going to work out fairly. But, you know, you know, yeah, protect yourself. Don't let nobody come in and I got remember I said in the beginning to um, let something go. Let that shit go. If it try to come back in, just protect yourself from it. Because you're going. some of you may even be getting divorced from somebody. Maybe that's what they're saying. Let free yourself too. So you may be getting, some of you may be getting divorced. Some of y'all are going to get divorced and get married. Or somebody, y'all leaving a relationship. And you're going to get married again. Or, or you're just going to get married for some of you. You got the page of earth. You may be dealing with a. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The Page of Earth is a messenger, okay? They're coming in with a message for you. Um, this could represent somebody a little younger, okay? You might hear something about money, and it may be through the judicial system, through a divorce or something like that. 
somebody might have owed you something because somebody might have been taking something from you, getting over on you when it comes to money. And they, you might hear word about getting it back because you may have to sue them suckers or something like that. For some of you. Okay. So we have the high priest here. Uh, yes, yeah, about a marriage. Okay. For some of you. It's regarding a marriage. And I feel like this marriage is going to come to an end for some of you. For some of you, you're going to get married. You're going to hear word of, of, of somebody wanting to marry. But there's something that you had to let go of. Just like I said intuitively. And here's the king of truth, which is the king of swords. Maybe dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, this may be the person who's the one that you're going to uh, hook up with. King or queen, doesn't matter because the court cards has no gender. Okay, so that's what I'm... Just exactly what I said intuitively. It just all came out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, and verify these cards. We don't have to verify the bonus card. That was just a bonus little something something. Okay, so let's get with this three of action. Three of action. Three of action, which is the three of of wands. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Somebody might be going to somebody for counseling, too. I'm hearing that as I'm looking at this. For some type of uh, spiritual counseling or help. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, Six of Cups. Somebody from the past, okay? Somebody could be thinking about somebody from the past or somebody's thinking about you from the past. This is your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And you could be, you know, excited about somebody who may be returning or you may want somebody to return. Okay, now let's see what's going on with this um, Five of Truth, which is the Five of Swords. Some type of deception, some type of uh, rejection. Somebody might reject somebody from the past for some of you. Very little, I feel, on that. Okay, we got the Two of Swords, along with the Five of Truth. So there's some indecisiveness here, okay, regarding this uh, deception. It's like somebody feels blindsided. There's some indecision. There's choices to be made, and somebody may be blocking themselves as well. So you need to set yourself free, uh, Cancer, from, from this deception. Okay, now we're going to look at the king or queen of, of love, which is the cup card. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, ten of pentacles, I mean, ten of swords, along with the king of, of love. Some of y'all might have split up with somebody. You know, somebody put some, an ending to a relationship or a marriage here for some of you due to deception. All right was totally indecisive at first but now you know you got tired of being backstabbed to death okay by somebody who you may have been in a love relationship with or you may have um been married to so with this six of action which is a six of wands it's like you're protecting yourself from this person or vice versa they're doing this to you because the seven of cups they're kind of like waiting Somebody's like disappointed or something. They're waiting on some type of love here. And this is you. You're focusing. Look all them cups in the wall. You're waiting. You want love. There's a big, there's a cup of, of a cup right there sitting there. And you're just like waiting. Like who in the hell is going to give me love? Or, you know, it also talks about illusions too. Somebody's in like a, in, in la la land when it comes to love. Okay. Somebody's got their head in the clouds. Um, it, it also talks about fantasy, you know, dreaming up stuff when it comes to love. Um, somebody's in their imagination, okay, about love, but you need to protect yourself there, okay? Protect yourself. 
from these illusions. It's just an illusion. Just an illusion. All right. Come pop, cards pop it out pretty well. Okay, now with this uh, justice, which can be dealing with the Libra, you have the nine of cups in reverse. So this ain't a happy situation. Like I said, for some of y'all, y'all end up getting a divorce from somebody that you probably needed to because of some type of deception. Look at this ten of swords. Just getting backstabbed to death. Okay? So the love is gone <clears throat> or ended. <clears throat> It's, uh, it talks about being greedy and dissatisfied, too. Uh, and it also talks about some type of uh, materialism, like somebody could be totally materialistic in this relationship or marriage or whatever this was. Okay, now the page of Earth. And like I said, this could be past energy, now energy, or coming up energy for some of you. See the page of Earth. For some of you, it's just justice where you're going to get, receive justice, like from somebody who really, who, who disappointed you in love. Somebody you've been waiting around for. Okay, now you got the Five of Swords again with this page of Earth. Okay, so that's just feeling defeated, giving up. Somebody just felt defeated and just giving up and just letting go, okay, because it's just too much. That's the news you're going to hear. is like, I give up. I ain't trying no more. I'm done. It's a no-win situation. When it comes to a marriage or a relationship, somebody's wrapping it up here. Because somebody's getting tired of waiting and feeling like they're in a, an illusionary dream world with somebody who just backstabbed the hell out of them and was being deceitful. Either you or somebody else around you. But I see that, you know, you see your ships coming in. You know something's coming, all right? Could be somebody from your past. All right, now you got the king the king or the queen of swords. Remember, there's no gender along with this high, um, high priest who is a Taurus. Or you can be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Somebody, somebody's very slick, okay? Like I said, you, you might... You might get somebody who's going to be helping you here because a lot of the times the king of swords is somebody who is intelligent and they they have some kind of position. They could be like an attorney, a judge, something like that. So I feel like even with this with this high priest being here with this professional person, this they are going to help you out. They're going to help you with something. Okay, now we got the uh, King of Truth, which is the King of Swords, which we just seen here too, but that came in my deck and this deck as well. So you definitely got some protection here from somebody's going to really, somebody got your back here, uh, Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, when it comes to a split or uh, letting go of somebody, but you definitely got new beginnings here. So you got the Hermit, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, all right? So there's definitely going to be some guidance here because the hermit talk, goes inside for guidance. They retreat. They take caution. They withdraw, okay? And then they do meditation. So somebody's going inside themselves here thinking a lot, thinking this thing, thinking all this, all this is going to be thought over very, very well. It's going to be very well calculated. If this is going to be an ending for some of you guys, it's going to be an ending, but you're going to start something brand new. You are going to start something brand new because you see your ships coming in. You know that you're better than this. You know you don't deserve you don't deserve this. You don't. You deserve better and you know it. But this is going to be the ending of this marriage, I feel, for a lot of you. And, and some of you are going to start over again. So let me get some advice from my cards here, which are on my website as well, if you want to purchase them. Okay. So let's see what they're going to say. Make sure I didn't leave anything. <laughs> there it goes. 
Thank you, spirit. Okay, so your vice here says, um, let me get in the light here. Don't be in a relationship if it doesn't satisfy you, okay? You don't need to be in one. If it's not satisfying you, don't be in that relationship. That's another advice. Now, I'm going to give you a love card. There you go. You deserve love. You lovable, honey. You deserve love. You are lovable. You know this because you see your ships coming in. All right? You don't deserve to be in a relationship that, you know, that does nothing, that doesn't mean anything. And, you know, they're just being deceptive and backstabbing here. You know, pushing you a little too far with this Ten of Swords. That's really overdoing it here, all right? That's too much. Now it's time to release and, you know, learn to love yourself or find new love somewhere else, okay? So there's your reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to have a personal private reading, just look below in the description. Take advantage of the um, Name Your Price reading until the 31st. I'm having it, so hurry, get in, and uh, get you reading for Name Your Price. Who wouldn't want to do that? You know, it'd be silly if you don't. <laughs> So, you know, get the messages that spirit wants you to have on an individual basis and see, you know, it's just guidance. That's all it is. No judgment, nothing like that. It's just guidance. All right. So you guys take care and I'll talk to you in mid-month. Bye-bye now.